Hello and welcome to Understanding VTAG Video Utilizing AssetWorks. In this video, we're going to be using the AssetWorks administration screens to create our fixed position VTAGs, as well as our VTAG gateways. Afterwards, we'll move over to the VTAG Command Center to upload an image map of our facility. We'll then set the locations of our fixed position tags on the map. Finally, we'll be able to see all of our asset tags automatically update their position on the map. First thing we're going to do is create a location. This location is going to be assigned to our fixed tag. You can assign values such as name, building, floor, and room number. Now we're going to create an entry for our gateway. We'll assign a name, make, and model, as well as location. Under Network, since it's attached directly to the computer, we'll choose Local Host. Network Management will show the status of the gateway. Watch as it comes online. Notice that you can choose name and description. Most important is the VTAG ID. This is the six-digit number that shows up on the label of your VTAG. We're also going to assign the location that we created earlier. We'll do this for each of our fixed tags. In order to switch to the VTAG Command Center, simply click on View. In this section of the video, we're going to create some sites and videos, set position for all our fixed tags. Queued commands will show us the status of the commands. Afterwards, we'll be able to see asset tags moved from location to location. Let's start off by creating a site. I'm going to give it a name. And also assign our gateway to this site. Now we're going to create an area. An area will include a name as well as the map image. Resize your rectangle to fit within the measured area. Then set the width or height. Here we are going to go ahead and run set position commands for each of our fixed tags. All you have to do is click on the map and the set position dialog will automatically appear. We're going to do this for each of our fixed tags. We're going to run these commands for each location that we want to track. Now that we've programmed all our fixed tags, you'll notice that the assets are starting to congregate around the tool room. Here we're going to move the Helio transmission over to the storage bin room. Now we're going to go ahead and move the Caterpillar engine over to the CNC machine room. Whenever you move an asset, it will automatically discover its nearest fixed neighbor. Now that you're all set up, you can add fixed position tags for each location, room, or outdoor area. You can also attach asset tags for each important item you want to track. There you have it. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please call the number below.